Hey guys, welcome back to PHP by Fire. From this tutorial onwards, we'll start our uh, database tutorials. So in this tutorials, I'll give you the basic introduction to PHP My Admin, which is a tool which is provided by the XAMPP control panel. So in the starting, we just op we just have to open the XAMPP control panel, and we need to see if the MySQL service is started. So we can see that in actions the MySQL service has been started. Now, as we are going to use the MySQL database, so we need to start the service. So XAMPP just provides a simple buttons from which we can start our MySQL service. At this time, the SQL service is already started. So we don't need to bother about it. And the next thing we need to do is admin. When we just click on admin, it will navigate to the local server of the MySQL which is open through a tool. It's an interface known as PHP My Admin. Now this is provided by the um, XAMPP tool through which we can easily manage our database, create new databases, modify previous databases, create new tables, insert data, import SQL database, SQL S S export the database and many more things we can do it quite easily so we do not we do not move into the complex fundamentals of mysql which are command based we just simply you know see how we can create database directly from php my admin so why would one learn the complex structure of the sql commands if we can do the same things graphically with the user interface with the with the interface provided by the php my admin so we can just see here some of the options in phpMyAdmin and we can see that we have some uh, options in the left menu and these are the databases that are already there in my um, SQL server okay so these are all my databases this is the home button through which we can come back to the MySQL server home page that is, that is phpMyAdmin alright and here are some of the tabs which we can use in our uh, you know, regular functionalities. We'll see one by one as the work comes on. Uh, for our concern, we have to go to databases for now. And the same URL you can access by PHP My Admin. Um, this is the you know, URL that can you know uh, navigate you to the PHP My Admin. So first thing we need to do we need to see how we can create a database using PHP my admin alright so this is a um, page through which we can create the database okay we have to create the database for our regular purpose so we give it a name teach and we just leave the rest of the things uh, the way they are so let's just create this database okay you can see that when another database has been added to the list in the left and the name of the database is teach that we have created just just now so we can just click on this database so that it gets selected alright that's very good so the next thing uh, here is uh, create table uh, definitely if we are using a database then we need a table so that we can store our data or information that's great now we have we just have to uh, give the table a name so let's just give table name users with simple four columns it's very good when we click on go our table will get created now it will ask for the columns alright now we can just give the columns one by one the first is ID the user ID its type will be integer alright and the length will be uh, you know length will be 10 um, okay let's okay 10 10 is enough you know it's, it's really enough okay now the next thing is default none let's leave it blank let's leave it blank for now we we don't want it null so let's leave it blank here and we can just put it auto increment so that things get auto increment by itself that is 1 2 3 and so on okay then the next thing is uh, user name all right now we put it in varchar format with 100 uh, words that's great rest of the things same as before no auto increment here because it's a varchar no auto increment is possible now the third thing is um, um, email right 
again very care 100 and resting the same last thing is age all right it's integer 10 and that's it for our table now we can save it and you can see that a new table has been created with the structure that we have defined a users table now next time you come to databases you just uh, click to teach and you just navigate to users table and there fill us you're ready to manage your table okay you can see the structure of your table that we have defined and you can change anything from here these options you can insert new fields in your um, table so let's make let's insert one field php.tutorials is our first field email php by fire okay let's go to xyz at gmail.com it's a dummy and age is 18 years I'm an adult okay okay so it it's that one row inserted um, the statement has come and now when you click on browse you can see that uh, you can see one entry in this so you can see how successfully and how easily we have inserted the column in the database table okay so I think that's that's clear about how you can use the phpMyAdmin these are the databases this is our database this is our table users you can navigate it very easily we can see the entries fields here we can delete it we can manage it the way we want and and we can just do anything we want here very simply without you know learning complex commands of SQL so that's all for this tutorial um, hope you'll grab the concepts of uh, phpMyAdmin the next tutorial onwards we'll start our PHP code on various things as how we can connect the database how we can fetch the values of the database and uh, many more things so let's um, that's that's the end for this tutorial. Um, thank you for watching. See you for the next one. Thank you.